start now I'm never gonna start and I guess that's kind of the point the scariest thing about starting to talk is wondering whether or not you're gonna have anything to say <laughs> I'm spinning in a chair just ooh. this is for anyone who wants to create something and hasn't or used to create things and now doesn't I'm with you this is for anyone who's stuck between nothing and something zero and one and between the thought of starting and actually starting this is for anyone who has voices in their head personified by distant relatives asking them, but what are you going to do for real money? What are you doing with your life, really? I have a boy from my Cambridge days who could hook you up crunching numbers for Doritos. What am I saying? As is customary when a young member of the tribe decides to associate themselves with questionable lots such as the arts. And this is for anyone who is haunted by that pesky little gremlin called Doubt. I once had a teacher who taught a class about monsters, but he did have some interesting theories about creativity. And he once told me that creativity is like the act of driving a car, and the hardest part is taking off the brakes. And the metaphor may not totally work, because taking the brake off probably isn't the hardest part of driving a car. <laughs> but it can definitely be said that whether you're writing or painting or filming, sometimes a brake gets turned on, and you get stuck, and you don't know how to get moving again. And it's not even a matter of moving forward, it's just moving in any direction. And all you want to be able to do is take that brake off, floor it, and drive into the nearest bush. Because <laughs> creative people don't know how to drive. <laughs> but for right now, I'm not concerned about how to take the brake off so much as where the brake came from in the first place. Who put that there? Who put that brake there? Hmm, let me drive here. Bum, bum, bum. Cactus sucks! <laughs> and in order to take that break off, I think it's necessary. Why is there an inhibitor to imagination in the first place? There are plenty of catalysts, and I'm sure you know their names well. Each little creepy crawly crafty monster is in their own right. Doubt. Uncertainty. Expectation. But we will not be drinking a cup of uncertain tea today. <laughs> Expectations of what? Is it the expectation of originality? Oh, it's been done a thousand times before. This is cliche. I'm tired of hearing this. I'm tired of seeing that. And I won't be here to say that originality is dead. Because it's defeating, and I don't think it's true. But I will say this. I don't think it's important. Originality is not important. Because it's about sincerity. If you care about your art, if you're sincere, about your craft, and you truly love it, then other people will too. So it's not about originality so much as sincerity. It's about loving what you do. Who cares if it's been done before, if it feels fresh, if it feels new to you. If you take even the smallest of acorns, and you nurture the crap out of that thing, it's gonna grow into something beautiful that people will still appreciate. And everyone is a little bit different. A new story to tell. A new branch to follow. Because all great things have small beginnings. I think originality is a linguistic crutch, founded on expectations brought on first by our culture, and then expectations brought on by yourself. So is it expectations of originality? Is it expectations of success? The other problem that I hear a lot is you gotta get serious about your work. You have to bleed into it. You have to eat yourself alive. That we have to kill ourselves over our work so we can distinguish ourselves and people will notice us. The trouble about success is that everybody wants it and nobody knows when they have it. And in order to succeed, we're told we have to distinguish ourselves. And in order, and in order to, and in order to, and in order to distinguish ourselves, we're told we have to get serious. I fear it's impossible for me to continue without critiquing our culture. We live in a culture of eat yourself. A culture of auto-cannibalism. We grow up in school systems where mistakes are stigmatized and creativity is squandered because creativity isn't measurable. If we're chasing creative pursuits, we're either told that we need the talent for it or we need to go to college to learn the talent for it. Because college will give us that good paying job with the money that we don't have to pay for college. So you're going to college to become a well-rounded person and obtain talent and money, but in order to go to college you need talent and money. Interesting. And when it comes to becoming an artist, the problem is compounded. How do I do what I love? while supporting myself. And I don't mean to suggest that it isn't possible because it's completely possible and people do it 
all the time. But sometimes it seems like it's impossible, and that break is put on because we find ourselves in a pressure cooker outside of our control, craving validation for our work instead of asking ourselves whether we love it, becoming discouraged by how many talented people there are in the world instead of becoming inspired by how many talented people there are in the world. And we grow up thinking it's about money or success or originality, that it's about a body of work speaking for us and that mistakes are dangerous and experimentation and the joy of discovery isn't valid, but it's wrong. So have fun with it. Make yourself laugh, make yourself wonder. Wonder about the powers inside us that are not us. Passion, well-being, and happiness have to come first. No matter what we are told, that has to come first. Passion leads to hard work, well-being leads to sharp instincts, and happiness leads to that magic spark that makes life worth living. Bleeding will only make you bleed out. So don't think about it so much as a body of work as an evolution of work. You're always growing, adapting, changing in a state of flux. Flux. It's like trying to drive a car minus the car with just brakes. And if you can take the brakes off, then it's not even something that you drive, it's just something that you are. It's the joy of discovery. And people love to see the process. They want to see that evolution of you and your work. Because art isn't something that you master. You consume, you curate, you reflect, you learn, you change, and you create. There is no such thing as perfect art. But that's only because perfection is a matter of perception, and perception is subjective, and subjectivity is the essence of creativity. And perfect is boring anyway. Thou shalt not paint by numbers. The only perfect art is the art that seeks comfort in its own imperfections. The only original films are the ones that embrace the fun of creating and the delight of an audience watching. And the only masterful stories are the ones that find humility and humor in their own limitations. When I was in kindergarten, there was painting time. And we were all given an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And I painted my entire sheet a solid block of orange. The whole thing was just one color. And my teacher said, that is, that, what is that? That isn't even anything. That's just, that, that's just the, the color orange. Five-year-old, what you do? And I said, it's a giant pumpkin. You didn't give me a big enough piece of paper. So if you ever feel limited or boxed in, maybe you didn't get a big enough piece of paper. There are no limits to what can be done, to what can be imagined. There are no limits to you. Observe. Inside this box can be drawn triangles, and more triangles can be drawn off the sides of the original triangles. And even more triangles can be drawn off the sides of the new triangles. Point is, it's a whole lot of triangles. In fact, it's an infinite amount of triangles, because there will always be more sides to draw more triangles on top of that. There's an infinite amount of numbers between 0 and 1. There's an infinite amount of triangles inside that box, and there's an infinity inside of you. I wish you infinite triangles.